Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. I've got the OnePlus 11 here today, so let's unbox that. And I also have a little surprise here as well for later, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. So this is what the box looks like. It says OnePlus X Hasselblad. Yes, this is Hasselblad branded camera. Red box as always. There's a bunch of numbers in the back and specs. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty typical OnePlus presentation one nice touch is there's actually a 3d effect here on the 11 it's actually like recessed a little bit so just notice that in the light here we go Ta -ta -da! and we start off with a divider which has a bunch of stuff in it presumably so we get interestingly some paperwork and ah stickers from oneplus nice What's interesting though is that we have a USB A to Type C adapter here. So that's very similar to what Pixel ships with. So presumably that's to bring in your previous phone's data over if you don't have a USB C cable. So that's interesting. And then we have Welcome, Quick Guide, Safety Guide. So the Welcome, I believe this is the usual Welcome letter we get from OnePlus. It's got the SIM removal tool. Let's check it out. Here we go. Hi there. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll let you look through it. It's signed by Pete Lau, the co-founder of OnePlus, and as I said, SIM removal tool. So it's a nice touch that we still get that. Now we have the quick guide, which is, I think, the most interesting part of this. Shows you what the phone looks like. You know, it's got multi-language here, and I'm not sure if there's anything in the back other than some specs and numbers. Then of course the safety guide, we don't care about that, and the stickers. So let's dig out the phone and see what else is in the box. Here we go. And got another divider here. And charger. So let's check that out. Let's see how many watts we're dealing with here. And uh, oh, USB type A to type C. So it's not a C to C charger like in the past. Strange, because some of the previous chargers from OnePlus also supported PD, you know, uh, for charging your laptop. And so they had a C2C connector. Now I know this phone supports 80 watt charging and it says SuperVOOC here. So that's an 80 watt charger, but yeah, I'm a little bummed that uh, unlike the OnePlus 10T, for example, that comes with a 160 watt charger for the 150 watt support, that it doesn't actually seem to support PD because it does have this USB type A here. So now, we got also the cable here, and that is going to be typical OnePlus as well. You know, we're going to get USB-C here and A here. You know, nothing too surprising. Pretty much what you expect from a OnePlus phone. So yeah, that's basically it. Now let's look at the phone real quick, and here it is. So let's uh, get this out of its little paper shell, shall we? And... There's an IMA sticker in the back, so let me get rid of that. And as you can see, this is the green color. Very nice. And here's that crazy camera pod. So that's also pretty interesting, right? So let's fire it up and uh, walk you through some of the specs. Here we go. So the screen here is a 6.7 inch. Quad HD display, so that's 1440p. It's an LTPO AMOLED and it is 120 hertz, adaptive of course, it's LTPO. Wow, that booted really quickly. And of course it does have curved edges, it's not flat. So very mild curved edges here, uh, but yeah, um, flat is always better. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but uh, hey, it's gonna be a, a great display. It has a 1300 nits peak brightness, which is kind of insane, frankly. And uh, it, you know, is pretty much state of the art, supports Dolby Vision, HDR 10 plus, etc. There's a whole punch up here, as you can see for the front facing camera. This is a 16 megapixel f of a 2.4 camera. I'm not sure what the pixel size is. And, uh, you know, again, it's pretty typical OnePlus. It has a bit more of a little bezel at the bottom here for the display cable, but it's pretty even. And it does look pretty flagship like. On the front under the hood here you obviously have a snapdragon 8 gen 2 and that is a flagship chip so 
that checks all the boxes 100% there. And it comes with either 8 gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM and either 128 gigs of storage or 256 gigs of storage. And now the 8128 version costs 699 and the 16256 costs 799 and that's US dollars. So that gives you a good idea. In the back here, we've got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's just two cells, 2,500 each, and it parallel charges them at 80 watt, as I mentioned before. But here is where things go wah, 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 sad trombone. This phone does not have wireless charging. So not only does it only have 80 watt charging, at least here in the US, I think it's 100 watt charging abroad, but uh, no wireless charging, that's a step down. That's not a flagship thing. Flagships should automatically have wireless charging. And I think, you know, you look at the Pixel 7 right now, right? Costs $599 regular price, $499 on sale most of the time, and has wireless charging, just not acceptable, OnePlus. So this is uh, the first major letdown on this phone, to be honest with you. So stereo speakers, let me walk you through the cameras because that's interesting. This is the exact same camera system as the Oppo Find N2, right? So we have a Sony IMX 890 as the main sensor, and uh, that's a 50 megapixel main camera, and it has OIS, it has phase detect autofocus, and it has one micron pixels, which is fine. So this is a pretty solid camera system. No complaints here. Then we have a telephoto, 2X, but it doesn't look like it has OIS. And again, I don't understand that. Oppo's been doing this for a while. The Find X5 Pro last year did have a 2X telephoto with no optical image stabilization. And as I said, the Find N2 has that as well from Oppo. And as you know, Oppo is OnePlus's parent brand. So it's really interesting because they do use sensor fusion to achieve telephoto quality. So, you know, the, this 2X is really more of a portrait lens for portrait photography. And yes, it can be used as a telephoto, but you know, it does some fusion between the two sensors. So maybe the 2X telephoto doesn't need, you know, an OIS uh, system, but I feel like that's a miss, honestly. And it's a 32 megapixel f over 2.0 which is pretty fast lens 2x optical zoom and then we have a ultra wide 48 megapixel f over 2.2 115 degree the pixel size on the telephone and the ultra wide are 0.8 microns the nice thing about the ultra wide is it has autofocus so you can use it to do macro photos which is a nice thing that's something we had on the oneplus 9 pro and then we lost on the oneplus 10 pro and it's back on this oneplus 11. notice also that i'm not talking about a oneplus 11 pro because as far as we know that's not coming at all this year this camera pod is interesting though this is all metal and it blends in with the metal frame a metal frame is a good thing that's a flagship type of thing and then you know we have this really kind of nice Hasselblad accent here as you can see very nice so speaking of the edges let's walk you through the alert slider is back after being gone for the OnePlus 10T that was necessary and I'm glad it's back power lock key you can see the antenna bands here that's a definitely a metal frame you've got one of the two speakers down there and USB type C and the sim tray this you know supports single or dual sim depending on the market you're in no micro SD of course on the left hand side here you have the volume rocker right and again more antenna bands on top you have a little port for the speaker and the secondary microphone of course you know primary mic on the bottom standard stuff yeah overall i think these are solid specs the price eh, i think this at this price it should have wireless charging and it should have ois on the telephoto that's just me that would have singed the deal for me but right now, I think it should be probably $100 less because if I can buy a Pixel 7 for, you know, $599 regular, $499 on sale with wireless charging and get some incredible telephoto performance from the Super Zoom that, you know, Google's implemented in their camera, I don't know if this 2X telephoto is going to live up to my expectations. And obviously stay tuned for my review to find out. But I love the color and I do love that the alert slider is back, that it's a metal frame and you know that display and of course the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is going to be incredible in terms of performance. So this is all pretty exciting. Unfortunately no wireless charging. That's really what bums me out a lot. A lot of you are going to not care but frankly I think in this day and age it's a must-have feature because a lot of us want it. It helps a lot when you're in your car and you want to charge while using wireless Android Auto, for example, etc. But also, I have these earbuds, so let's check them out, shall we? 
there they are. Let's open them up. Same color, arbor green, nice. So there's the box. We've got a little divider here with some documentation that really just doesn't want to come out of here. So let's check that out real quick. So we've got Melody Booster Dual Driver Technology. So a little card on that. Then we got, well, safety and warranty. Don't care about that. And then we have OnePlus Buds Pro 2 User Guide. So there we go. Nice kind of gray shaded illustration. Three tips comes with and tells you how to set it up and all that stuff. Cool. Yeah, I like the illustrations on this. Really well done. All right. So you get the buzz and let me get rid of this paperwork and yeah, so let's open this up, shall we? Here we go. Woo, one plus. Ooh, Dana Audio helped out with these. Very nice. Ooh, that case feels really, really good. All right, so there's a little piece of paper here that says touch area. So inside here is the touch area, you can see. And then uh, in here, there's more stuff, which is kind of to be expected, really. We got the different ear tips, right, underneath this flap. And then we have some accessories here. I presume this is just a charging cable. Yep. That's what we get. So A to C, basic cable, nothing too crazy here. I'm not going to take these out. I mean, if you want to see them a little closer, there they are. Okay. Let me show them to you a little closer up. So this is what they look like. Very uh, similar design to the previous generation. You can see the pogo pins in here. And then audio and USB type C. And these have little stickers on them. <laughs> they look like Mickey Mouse ears. I'm going to remove these. And uh, there they are. contacts, some ports, um, yeah, and then a little bit of uh, kind of metallic finish here. Very cool. Looks like there's a microphone at the bottom as well, maybe. Yeah, so that's the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And you can see there's an actual button here as well. And uh, some LEDs right there. And they do support wireless charging, which is really kind of interesting since the phone doesn't support wireless charging. OnePlus, what are you doing here? Like, you make a phone without wireless charging, but you make earbuds where the case has wireless charging? I'm really confused. I don't get it. But anyway, so that's it for the buds. Quick look at the OnePlus 11. Cool camera bump. And uh, folks, stay tuned for more videos. Let me know in the comments, is this the flagship for you? Are you happy about this phone the way it is? Are you going to miss wireless charging or not? Tell me in the comments, and remember this is YouTube, so like, subscribe, tell your friends, click the little bell below, and remember this is a compliment to my podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com or on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Spotify, everywhere good podcasts can be found. And so I would love to see you there so you can hear my thoughts on this phone. And also support me, patreon.com slash tankrl, that's patreon.com slash tnkgrl. I have a video version of the podcast that comes a day ahead where you can see me and my guests and we talk about cool stuff. So consider joining us weekly on Patreon. There's other perks there. Check them out.